It's Matt Master Gamer here, and welcome back to more ALTTP. I thought I would shorten it as it is, um, well, it is a link to the past shortened. Anyway, let's go through this door. Welcome back. Whoa, my goodness! Whoa! That was scary. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, welcome back to, um, yeah, I already said to LLT. Uh, last time, uh, we, um, well, what did we do? Uh, <laughs> in the last part, uh, we got four pieces of hearts, uh, talked to an elder, and we found the way to the Eastern Palace, the first dungeon in the game. And in this part, we're going to do a dungeon. Um, anyway, first puzzle of the dungeon. Oh, uh, air, pick the switch. Pick the. Pick up the pot to push the switch. I don't know why I can't speak English today. And we see another a new enemy. Yeah, here's another new enemy. The rope. The rope R, sorry, not rope. We've already seen ropes. These are rope R's. Like old scary ropes. And they're very much weaker than ropes, so I, they're both, I like those things. Ah! Can't talk. Um anyway, these things are marbles. Look kinda of like the uh, the things in my Super Mario 64 test, camera test. And um Oh my goodness, a giant marble! Ah! I didn't like the giant marble. <laughs> And, um, ah, another giant marble! And go through here quickly before you die! And before you actually go up there, you're actually able to get something really cool. Another thing that people, most people don't know. Um, you should go up here. Get a few pots, you get ruby, five rubies, five rubies, ruby. Yeah, not that interesting. What's in this chest? Whoa, a hundred rubies! I think that's so cool. I love, a I love getting a hundred rubies. It's a bit like a um, phantom hourglass where you, um, um, when you get, uh, uh, one giant ruby, which is a hundred rubies. But in this game, you, um, you don't, like, if you get a giant red ruby, you get three hundred or rubies or something like that. But in this game, you don't. You only get, uh, a hun three hundred green rubies if you get three hundred rubies. Anyway, uh, I'm going in all different directions because I'm weird and I can't complete this dungeon. Press this switch where these pots are to go through this door and the other door, but I'll go through this door. And we see another new enemy, the star folks. They always jump about, so it's quite hard to hit them, but they only take two hits, I think. And, um, yeah, actually, I'm, I'm just going to get hit by these to find out. Oh, they only do one attack. Okay. Um, because, um, my bios are kind of have to get hit by every single enemy in the game to find out what they do. Anyway, oh my goodness, this is an anti fairy. He's that little mascot of the walkthrough. Um, they're really annoying, and if you get hit by them, they actually um, take, I think, half a heart away and um, some magic power. So yeah, it's really annoying. We open this chest to get the dungeon map. Hooray! And jump down here. Actually, I'll just show you this cool thing. Ooh, we're underneath the island. Not island. We're underneath the ground. I found that really cool. And again, I can't speak English because I just said island. Which is not an island at all. Uh, oh, we got no ow. Silly Starfos. Silly Starfos. Silly Roper. Ow! Starfos keep hurting me. Mommy, the Starfos keep hurting me. Okay, now I'll stop whinging. Uh, just press the switch again to open the uh, door on the other side. Well, you can just use that switch, but I prefer to use the other switch. Go through here. You don't actually have to take the other way if you don't want to, but it gets you the dungeon map. I want the dungeon map. So, um, I want the dungeon map, as it's a 100% walkthrough! I forgot to actually say that, didn't I? But it, it says, let's play in Zelda 100% part. Anyway, um, this room, we're trapped in the room. And oh my goodness, Starfos have just dis uh, disappeared, appeared from the ground! And, uh, you want to use these pots in the room to kill them all? You don't have to, but 
I like to use the pots in the room as they're, as they're there. And I miss this Star Force by an inch. What I don't understand in this game is enemies, they never get hit by you, right? You're, you're so close to them, but they don't get hit. But then, if an enemy chucked a pot at you and it was that close, you would still get hit. This is really cheap thing they have in this game. The, um, your um, box for your sprite is bigger than uh, you think. And we open this chest to get the compass. Hooray! So we've got both now. And the uh, compass um, is um, lets you see where the evil um, boss of the dungeon is. I say evil boss because all the bosses in this game are hard. But anyway, um, talk to this little tap, um, stone thing here. And gamer, it is I, sha la la la. I can talk to you telepathically when you touch these tiles. Here is a hint. You can use the treasure hidden in the palace to defeat armored foes. So, uh, he's t t talking to you, he's telling you, sorry, about the dungeon item in this uh, dungeon. Oh my goodness, that's um, odd statue thing has come to life. It's like Gormos or something, or Gormo or something like that. I can't remember. And anyway, you can't actually kill them with your you can't actually kill them with your sword. So you're only able to kill them with um with uh, pots. But um. Yeah, so we can't actually kill them just yet. And I just remembered, I've forgotten an item in Kakariko Village. I'm gonna have to get that in the next part. Anyway, go through this door, and oh my goodness, it's pitch black. Ah, and there's a roper, even scarier. Go through this door, where it's, oh, still dark. Ah, and there's a Starphos, scary Starphos. The Starphos in this game aren't scary. If I made a remake of this game, I think I'd make them a remake look a little bit more scarier because they look silly <laughs> in this game oh uh, i don't know anyway ah, there's a roper and um I'll open this door with the key we just got uh and we're back in the uh the, this room again but now we're on this bridge upwards <sighs> i'm still really annoyed that i just remembered i forgot an item because it's actually quite a useful item <laughs> that would be very useful right now but um but i don't have it so Woohoo, I remembered everything else. I even remembered something that I thought I would forget, which is that little um, area where you're able to get like, more items and things. Anyway, I'm having a problem trying to kill these ropers, which is odd. Anyway, there is uh, all these um, um, doodads called anti fairies are um, guarding that pot. You'll find out why if we kill all the enemies in this room. So, yeah, you can kill all those things with pots. I wait, do that. Whoa, my goodness, all the anti fairies have come to life. Anyway, press the, um, pick up that pot uh, to press that switch. Oh, find the chest, open the chest, and get the big key. Ah, ah, I almost got hit by that um, the anti fairy there. And we go through this door and um, bananas. And there we go. Uh, push that block. Uh, you can talk sha la 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 if you want to again, but. It's kind of like a voice recorder because he just says exactly the same thing again. Anyway, uh, now we actually have the um, the big key. We're actually able to open these big chests. Open the big chest, and we get the bow. Yes, this is the bow. Um, one of my favorite items in the game. It also lets you kill starfoses really easily. And oh my goodness, yellow starfoses! Ah, they've just come to life, and then they're flying away, and they leave their heads, which is really odd. Anyway, run away from those, and um, go up these stairs, and drop down one of these pots. Uh, man, why are you dropping down a pot? Well, there's fairies in here, and what would be really useful is um, there is an item you're able to get called the net, and you're actually able to catch fairies and put them in bottles. So um, whenever you die and get game over, you're actually able to, um, it actually the fairy makes you come back to life and gives you six or nine hearts, I can't remember. But yeah, they're really useful, and I'm so really hate myself right now because I'm forgetting the um for forgetting the um oh the net so I have to wait for the next part or the part after if this um dungeon takes too long anyway ah you're actually able to collect loads of rubies in this room but there's anti fairies and anti fairies are scary they're not scary but they're annoying but they're scary by meaning they make you take a lot of hits but um, scary not meaning what they look like, like some of the enemies in Twilight Princess. <laughs> ah! Anyway, I think you have to kill the enemies or something? Or one of the enemies has something in them? I can't remember. But um... 
just uh, light up this room, I guess. Find out. Uh, nope, doesn't seem to be uh, anything in the room. So uh, let's go back in, see if I um, had to kill that enemy again. I have to kill all the enemy. Oh, no, I don't. Um, so pick up this pot. Oh, my goodness, that Armos really scared me there. <laughs> oh, it's not Armos. It's not Armos. Stupid me. It's not an Armos. It's a Gyro or whatever it's called. <sighs> Can't believe I've just been calling them Armos all this time. And uh, what I'm supposed to do in this room is um, try and uh, find uh, uh, the, the switch. I just remembered I didn't have to leave the room. I've got the bow and arrow now. Stupid. Stupid. There you go. Kill these garlars. <laughs> Whatever they're called. Um, and shoot them with the arrows. Let's see if you can shoot with the arrows now. Whoa! It's come to life. Okay, now you've got to press this switch down here to open this door. And. Oh my goodness, what is going on? There's so many doors. No, they're not doors, they're marbles! Marbles all over the place. Go through this door quickly. And um, we're actually right close to the, uh, the, the the boss of the area. And what does make un any sense is um, underneath um, that enemy there, there is like a little um, little not little. What am I, crawly? Oh, I am crawly. Uh, um, yeah, that underneath there, that shows you kind of what the boss looks like, except for this one. This one does not show you what the boss looks like at all. <laughs> that is not what the boss looks like at all. Anyway, go near this uh, red one, and let's shoot a pot. Ah, it doesn't get killed by pots! I've always thought that odd. Why doesn't it get hit by pots? As the other ones do. Alright, use these arrows to defeat him, and let's go battle the boss. Oh, well, no, no, we won't. No, we won't. Because of bosses. I don't care about bosses. We don't have to about bosses. We just, we just kill some ropers. No, the roper is a boss. Ah! The roper of doom. The ropers of doom. There's a lot of them. Okay. Kill these owl. Kill these armors. I was about to say before I was rudely interrupted by them. Oh, great. Oh, oh no, I died. I died. Ah. <sighs> okay, that didn't take me too long. That wasn't too bad, but I really wish I had a net. I hate myself. Anyway, after going through here, I kind of killed all the enemies and opened some of these um, pots. They only had like arrows and hearts in them, so yeah. Anyway, now go through this door to battle the boss, which isn't actually ropers. Oh my goodness, these are the Armos Knights. They are, um, they're not too bad as the first boss of the game. I say first major boss, but this is the first boss of the game. But except for a certain website, I'm sure they said that the, the Chain Trooper is a boss, but that's stupid. Anyway, you want to kill all these enemies. The weakness is the arrow. As all bosses in a Zelda game, the uh, the weakness of the boss is arrow. Well, not not arrows. <laughs> the dungeon item. Not arrows. Some some are like um, uh, arrows don't do anything or something. Not that not like they're weak by I mean Seriously, they don't do anything at all. Like they're totally invincible to arrows. Okay, I'm wasting all my arrows, and oh my goodness, this one's turn evil. Yeah, after you kill um, all of them but one, the um, last one turns even easier. Because all you have to do is just do this. That's it. Just repeatedly press B, and the boss will just die eventually. So never let go. Ow! I was about to say never let go of A, but I actually did for a second then. So probably why I got hit. And just carry on. Oh, come on, seriously. And it's actually really hard to. <laughs> I was about to say, it's really hard to uh, hit it with an arrow. Anyway, click this heart, and the first pendant of the game, the Pendant of Courage. Hooray! Yeah, that's enough. Yeah, you won the Pendant of Courage. Take it to sha -la, -la, la Two pendants remain. Hooray! So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, actually, we'll just go talk to Shalala quickly um, before the episode ends, because I don't want to do film another episode. 
well, I kind of do, but I, I'm kind of tired and my voice is all croaky and <sighs> I don't really want to go through a dungeon all over again. <laughs> anyway, after that, total chalala. Oh, you got the pen of courage. Now I'll tell you more of the legend. Three or, uh, or four generations ago, an older of oh, the order of knights protected the royalty of Hylaea. These knights uh, of Hyrule were also uh, guardians of the Pendant of Courage. Unfortunately, most of them were destroyed in the great war against evil that took place when the several wise men created the Sil. Wait, there were knights that protected the Pendant of Courage. Oh, sorry, I kind of killed them all. Yeah, sorry. Among the descendants of the Knights of Hyrule, a hero must appear. I see. Gamer, I believe you, you, should get the remaining pendants and carry this with you. This is a treasure passed down uh, by the royal families of the wise men. I want you to have it. And we get the Pegasus boots. Oh, the Pegasus shoes. Seriously. And um, this lets you dash around with A. So it's, uh, it's pretty much the walk. It's a... Uh, Best item for walkthroughs. <laughs> a helpful item is hidden in the cave of the east side of Lake Hylaea. Get it. Okay. But we'll be getting that in the next part. And uh, just before this video ends, even though it's running low on time and money, open this to get bombs. I don't care about the bombs. You have to get 50 rubies. And 50 rubies. Anyway, thank you for watching this video, even though I died, which is really stupid. So in the next part, we'll be getting a net <laughs> in Kakariko Village. So I'll see you guys then. Hope you enjoyed.